Right, a quick update on the construction. Um, I've made these bent, these bars. Um, I'm going to have the acrylic on top of here. Uh, this is going to be bolted to it. So these will go up through this way, through the acrylic, and then protrude out the other side of the acrylic. Uh, giving a nice place to uh, just to hook all my wires onto and to wire it up from on top of the acrylic and it will also serve as to hold it to hold the whole cell up off of the off of the bottom so that's the plan the acrylics under here at the moment I've just put all this weight on it because I'm gluing some rubber which I've cut so that's just there to seal the top of this once it's sitting on and once the glue's dry I'll, uh, I'll trim it down inside as well you can see there Right, and also I tested this for leaks. It had a tiny, tiny little leak just here. So I drilled it out a bit. Um, and uh, I've refilled it with the, the glue stuff. And I'm using this stuff again. Sikaflex 291, Fast Cure Marine Adhesive Sealing and Bedding Compound. It didn't work before, but that's when I, I sealed the bottom uh, of the U-shaped construction. And uh, that wasn't, I didn't do it very well, I don't think. I think it, it wasn't brittle enough to hold it together. You can see in the middle there, I've, I've done it on the inside as well as the outside. So that's the progress so far. I'm quite pleased with the, the bending I did. <laughs> How I did it, I, I got the bars on, on the edge here. Then I used the clamp, clamped it down as tight as I can. Oop, I had to use two clamps. And then I got my pliers, just held on and bent it along this way so that's me for now hello right um, I've done quite a lot today this evening um, I've glued these washers on the four corner ones that's so when I use my wing nuts it won't put too much pressure on the corners and snap off so uh, that should spread the pressure a bit more uh, I'm going to put some on the bottom as well I haven't got round to that yet <clears throat> in the middle you can see a small pipe coming out this is a little uh, this is an L bend coming out on the pipes coming out to here this is on just to keep it in place while the glue dries <clears throat> the two bolts you can see coming out are coming from underneath the perspex and that is attached to the cell You can see that's all attached to the cell now, so that's floating. I painted uh, a black acrylic paint and a red one on this side for so I know which one's positive and which one's negative, and also it will hopefully seal any uh, gaps in there to keep it airtight. 
Right, that's about it for now. This is oh, this is the uh, the bubbler I'm going to be using. You can see I've got a little L thing in there, and if I blow in it, oh, hang on. If I blow in it. see the bubbles quite easily so and quite nicely that will go on there get strapped onto there that's it this is an old uh, toothbrush toothbrush traveling set thing it's quite a hard plastic so hopefully it should be okay Right, that's it for now. Just got to wait for that to dry, which it should be by the morning. Um, that's it for now. Right, so... Um, okay, I've got another problem. <laughs> Where I had this rubber on, I'd cut it to pieces because it wasn't the right size, it wouldn't fit. So I cut it so that it would fit around and glued it. But when I tested it for leaks, it was leaking through the joins. So now I've got to find some other kind of seal. Okay. Right, I've got this now, which I'm going to try. So that was uh, one of the things I had before. I've just chopped the bottom off. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you.